Hello everyone, it is I, Hex. I am here with a new creation. Well, it's actually an old creation, but it's a new version of it. This is the multi-floor elevator version number two. And I'm going to show you it now. Uh, why am I doing this again? Because I decided to make it more compact. Check it out. It is much more compact, I think. Where'd my... Uh, it is much more compact, I think. We've only got three block spacing between there and the call to floor lever. Uh, it is a little bit more compact this way. And not only being a little bit more compact, but it is much easier to build now. And so, yeah, but it works exactly the same way as the other one. Uh, you can pull a lever to go to whatever, to uh, call the elevator to a floor. Say, for example, this floor. You could call the elevator there, and it shows up, and then you click that little lever, and you get in, and you push the button either up or down, and it goes up or down as you stand upon it. So uh, it can go to lots of different floors, and it has that m same minimum floor distance of uh, four blocks. I say four blocks, but really like it's like three blocks because, um, yeah, so the minimum like floor can be three blocks tall, and then, a f uh, of course, this is the floor. So I don't know if that, is that four blocks or three blocks? I don't know. I super can't count. But whatever. I'm saying four blocks because I don't want people to be like, it's not four blocks. It's three blocks. Whatever. This is the footprint for it. The iron blocks are the elevator itself, including the car and the function that makes the elevator go up and down. The uh, gray slabs right here, this is the call to floor function thing. So you can actually build the elevator without the call to floor function stuff if you want to. Um, I kind of think the call to floor stu uh, function stuff is cool, but it's a little bit tricky to build. Uh, by the way, this video is a little bit long, and that is because of the call to floor function stuff, uh, because I'm, I go into detail like how to hook it up to your floors, depending on where your floors uh, end up. Anyways, okay, the next thing that you need to know is that this thing, you have to make it f at least five blocks from the ground. So what I mean by that is like if these are your immovable blocks, so that's going to be the bottom of your elevator, then you need four more. One, two, three, four, and then this one here can be your um, your floor. So I'm going to go right there and right there. Okay. So then that means I have one, two, three, four, and then some immovable blocks. So that's the size that you have to do it from the bottom. Okay. Uh, so if this was my entrance, my very first floor entrance, let me go ahead and get some some stairs right here, some stairs, some stairs. These are doors, man. <laughs> I stink at calling things things. Okay. Why is my door not going the right way? Now that one did. There we go. Okay. Uh, so if these are my elevator doors, then this is the space that I need right here. Okay. One, two, three, and four. Like that. Okay. All right. Once you got that, the next thing to do is to build the elevator car. So here we go. So the first thing that you want to do to build the elevator cars, you're going to turn this way and you're going to place a block right there, an observer facing that way. Then you're going to turn around this way and face an observer the other way like that. Okay. And in case you were wondering, Hex, why didn't you make this thing smaller the first time? Well, that's because the car actually now is bigger. So it took me a little while to realize, oh, if I just make the car bigger, then I can make the elevator mechanisms smaller. So the car is actually one block longer or taller, but uh, that doesn't seem to make much difference. So once you got that, then you're going to put a block of slime there and a block of slime there, and then you're going to come up one more with a block of slime there, and then you're going to place right here a piston facing upwards. Then on top of that piston, you will put a block of slime, another block of slime there, another block of slime there like that, and a piston facing downwards like that. Very nice. You're doing a great job so far, okay? Then you're gonna swing around to this side and you're going to place a block of slime there and a block of slime there. And then you're going to place a uh, an observer facing outwards right there, like that. Uh, just to finish this bottom floor, I'm just gonna put a block there and a block there. So the very next thing that you need to do to complete this is put some kind of a lighting block on top of these. I, I recommend that. You can put whatever block you want actually right here, but I recommend putting a these sea lanterns, just because A, they look kind of like an elevator floor, and B, because they're already lit up, so then you don't have to worry about mobs spawning in your elevator. Because the last thing you want is to open this up and go, ah, oh, creeper, and kaboom, blow up half your elevator. That would really stink. So uh, lighting blocks are cool, like that. All right, once you got that done, the next thing you're going to do 
is you're going to place a couple blocks right here. Now, any block that you place on these four places, so there, there, and here, they have to be immovable or glazed terracotta, otherwise your elevator will get all stuck. So you don't want that. Okay, because this is the bottom floor, what we need is one block of this uh, as an up button. So that's down. I think we have to go to the back and we'll get an up button right there. Okay, so I'm using this uh, purple or magenta, whatever, glazed terracotta with the arrows, and then that's super easy. Um, I highly recommend that. If you don't have access to it, well, you should just get access to it because it's awesome. All right, anyway, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place a button on that thing. So this is going to be our button to activate it. Now, this floor is going to be weird compared to the middle ones because all, it's, all we need is an up. Um, we don't need to activate it. We don't need to worry about stopping the, uh, <clears throat> stopping the flying machine in a certain way. All we have to do is worry about it going upwards. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to come right here, and we're going to come up a block, and we're going to place a piston facing into that observer right there, just like that. Okay, and then we're going to run some redstone back to our button, and then that's it. So there's lots of different ways you can go ahead and do this. Uh, the way that I did it is I put a block there, some redstone on top of it, and then I put, that's a temporary block, so a block there, and then a redstone torch there. And as you can see, he's already taking off. Oh no! <laughs> okay, we're back down. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and put that block on top of there for now. That's good. All right. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place another piece of redstone there. And then maybe we'll come out this way. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Like that, and then we're gonna put another torch here. And that's gonna switch it again. And then we'll put a torch there. And then we're gonna run this into that torch, like that, okay? And there we go. Okay, so that's the bottom floor. Totally done. Awesome, very simple. Okay, let's go up to our next floor. So if you wanna build uh, floors in between and make this a true multi-floor elevator, then you're gonna need to do the following. Put a couple blocks above here, above your door here, like that, and that's gonna finish off the door. And then if you want to, these right here can be any solid block. So I'm using white concrete for my sort of decorative block like this, and I'm just gonna go ahead and go up on the sides like that, but you could use any, any solid, any block you want to right there. The only ones that have to be this, uh, or immovable are the ones that are gonna be in contact with our slime blocks. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to your next floor. So I recommend doing it like this. You're just gonna tower up to wherever your next floor is. If this is underground, then you just you know dig up to wherever your next floor is. Make sure that this is in line with that block right there though, okay? Like that. All right, so I have no idea how far I went up. I just went up some and I did that on purpose. Okay, and there we go. And then now that we have established where the uh, front of our elevator is going to be right here, then what we need to do is figure out where the stop is going to be. And the stop is going to be two blocks back, and then you're going to place an immovable block right there. Okay, then break those two, because our elevator is going to come up in these two, between these two blocks here. Okay, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put a, a regular piston facing backwards like this, and then another immovable block underneath it. And this is actually our stop, because check it out. When the elevator comes up, it's gonna get stuck on this right here piston, because it's gonna pick up the piston, the uh, slime blocks are gonna pick up the piston, and because the piston is not, not extended, then it's just gonna pick it up, and it's gonna be stopped by either one of these two, whether it's going up or going down, it's gonna be stopped by our obsidian. But if we extend this piston, then that unlocks the elevator. So this piston right here basically is our stopping and unlocking mechanism to make the elevator um, either stop or allow it to go. All right, very cool. So the next thing that we could do is we could send our elevator up to that place. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The reason I like to do this rather than trying to build around this is because it helps me with my references of where I'm at spatially. So. That's cool. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put uh, two immovable blocks, glazed terracotta, right there. And then we're gonna do an up button and a down button. So I think our up button, we go this way. Nope, I always get that backward. <laughs> okay, our up button, we're gonna go this way. And then our down button, we're gonna go that way. OK, 
Okay. Then you can take out actual buttons and throw some buttons on there at this time. And there we go like that. Okay. So here is where the rubber meets the road. This is where we're going to build uh, the full elevator uh, level. All right. So right here, just like we did down there, we're going to place a torch to the side of that. Then we're going to go ahead and place a block uh, two blocks down below that torch. These are temporaries. And then we're going to go ahead and put redstone on top of that right there. Then we're going to go ahead and place another torch on the side of that block. And then we're going to go down two more like that. Okay. Then we're going to come around this way like this. Okay. So that we are two blocks past this. And I think that's a total of five. One, two, three, four, five five, and then this one. So one, so it's actually six. Okay. Then underneath, uh, underneath that, you're going to place a block right there between this green line and that. And then you're going to place a block underneath that and break this one. So basically we just have a thing like that. And then you're going to place a repeater right there. Okay. So that repeater is going to allow this piston to be powered when we press the button and unlock the elevator. Okay. So next we need to go to where the elevator is actually activated. So we're going to put redstone on all of these right here. Then we're going to go ahead and put a torch right there. Then below that torch, we're going to take and put two blocks below it. And then we're going to come one more block over like that. Okay. Put a piece of redstone under the torch, put a repeater right here, and then put a piston at the end of this green line right here like that. Okay. So then don't do it yet. But when you press that button, what's going to happen is it's going to activate, go down this torch tower, activate this line, which is going to extend this piston. And then this piston is actually going to retract. And that's going to update our observer and send the elevator off. And then this will retract um, after the elevator has passed that point. And so it'll go ahead and run. Next, we need to do a similar thing for the very uh, for, for the mechanism to make it go down. All right, so right here behind this block, we're going to place a temporary block and then a block there, like that. Then you're going to come down one more block like that, okay? Then you're going to come around this way, and you're going to follow and go right on top of this redstone right here. And you're going to go one block out from that, okay? Then right here, on top of this block, you're going to place redstone, redstone there, and then right here, we need a repeater so that these two redstone lines don't intersect. And then we go and we're going to place redstone there and there and there and there and there and there and there. And then right here, we need a repeater and redstone at the end. And then right here, we're going to place a redstone torch. Now, the reason we need this repeater is because it, when we build the next level up, this is actually going to be right next to this redstone line and so then we that's just separating this from this one on the level above and you'll see that in a minute okay so that's that part next what you need to do is come down here then underneath this torch we're going to come down two blocks place a bit of redstone on top of that and then you're going to come and go ahead and put a redstone torch on that block and then you're going to come over one and down one and then break this block and then right here, you're going to place a redstone repeater like that. And then on the face of that repeater right here, you're going to place a block. And then on that block pointing into this uh, observer, you're going to place a piston like that, regular piston. Okay. That's almost that done. The next thing that we need to do is we're going to place a block right here next to this piston. So this is our like locking piston. And then we're going to place a block right there. And then we're going to place a repeater here with redstone on that right there. Okay. So that's actually going to be the way that it unlocks for the upwards system. Now, there's one more thing that we need to do, which is a little bit strange. And you're like, why do we need to do this? It's annoying. Yeah, it's totally annoying. Uh, when the elevator is going downwards, what happens is it when it stops in this position, it actually this piston will actually fire one time a, as a one tick pulse and press all of these down one block. That means that these will be in the wrong position. They'll be one block too low. So what we need to do is then extend this repeater one more time and pick up these blocks. So uh, what we have to do is we have to do the following. So you're going to take out 
whatever you're using for your shaft of your elevator. Um, I'm using, of course, the gray glazed terracotta. Then you're going to place this block right there. Okay, so it's actually one below and one to the side of this observer. All right, next, what you're going to do is on next to that block, you're going to place a fence gate right here. Now, if you're in 1.13, you could just right click and place a fence gate, but I'm in 1.12, so I have to do this whole thing. Place the block underneath, place the fence gate, and break the block underneath it. Yay! Okay, then you're going to place an observer looking at that fence gate, pointing downward, and then one more like that. And that's going to fire, and that's totally okay. And now you can see that it's back together. So that means when this observer is right here, it's going to fire, make this piston uh, push out and back, and it's going to then retract the block so that it resets the elevator in the right place. Okay. That's actually the entire floor done. So if you want to build multiple floors, all you need to do is just repeat this above the, above here, wherever you need a floor. The minimum distance is the following. Okay, if you take and put doors right here, show you doors. So if you put doors right there where you would normally expect the doors to be, and then you place place blocks above that, okay, like that, and then the next two blocks would be the floor of that's the next floor. This is the minimum distance that um, I mentioned in the thumbnail and in the description of the video and at the beginning and all that. So, and then here would be your next set of doors like that. Okay. Very cool. So then your details can go on the side like this. Okay. That's your minimum distance. And then here's your floors. So there's a floor there and a floor here. Okay. Very cool. All right. So all you have to do is basically repeat the exact same thing that I did down there up here. So we're going to, I'm um, actually going to run, run you through that uh, as quickly as I can. I might even fast forward it. So we'll see. All right. So we're going to come back, make a space of two underneath that block. You're going to go ahead and put a regular piston. And then underneath that, you're going to place a block of obsidian there. Then on top of that, you're going to place some redstone. Remember I told you about that repeater that needs to be there? Yeah, that's why it has to be there. And there you go. Okay, if you want to build a floor above that, you just repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat. Um, you can also put another floor in wherever you want to. Like this one here is just, uh, I don't even know how far above that one it is. It's just up a ways. You could go, you could take this all the way to sky level, all the way down to five blocks, of, uh, blocks above bedrock, and you'll be fine. I highly recommend, though, on your top floor, you place a block of obsidian so that your flying machine, if something does go wrong, doesn't fly into outer space. <laughs> Just a recommendation. All right, speaking of that top floor, let's go ahead and build it. So here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go up a few more blocks. I'm doing this sort of randomly on purpose because I'm trying to get a particular thing to happen that I'll talk about when we talk about the call to floor function, which is coming very soon. Okay, uh, let's go right there. Pretty cool. All right, there we go. All right, so then what you're going to do is you're going to put, um, so this is going to be, again, our floor where our doors are going to go. And then we're going to come come back to 
like that. And that'll be our first block of obsidian. Of course, if you're in survival mode, you probably wouldn't do that with obsidian, but whatever. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and place a piston there. And then below that piston, you will place one of those. So it looks exactly the same as these two levels so far. Okay. All right. Then let's go ahead and send our uh, elevator car up to that level so we can orient ourselves. There we go. Very nice. And then, like I said, it's helpful to put a block of obsidian. I'd go at least two, maybe three, um, or some immovable block above there. You could even go like this if you want to make that the top of your elevator. Just because um, you don't want this thing taken off into the sky if something goes wrong um, while you're doing the uh, call the floor function. So, yeah, just a little pro tip there, <laughs> or a little uh, bit of experienced advice. <laughs> yeah, I had to rescue it from y equals some insane number. Okay, anyways, there we go. So then next to our elevator car, I put these two right there. And then again, on this level, you don't need the one that's going up. All you need is the down one. So we're just going to use the down button like that. And then the other one you could place right here. Or if you want to make it consistent, you could maybe have the up one like this, but then just don't put a button on it. Or you could do this. Um, you know, whatever you want to do. Whatever you feel like doing. I think I'm going to go... Wow. <laughs> I fell again. I think I'm going to go like this. That's because I kind of like the way that looks. Okay. Very cool. So the next thing that we need to do is just build uh, our down uh, mechanism. So... I'm just going to build that portion of the build. So, of course, you put a block behind there, one right there, block right there, uh, one below that, and then you're going to come around this away, like this, and then you're going to go over one, two, three, four, five, six or so, and then let's see. Um, so I went one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, I think. Um, that might be enough to do it. And let's see. So then we're going to go ahead and put redstone there. Redstone there. Now, you still need a repeater right here if you're going to do your um, call to floor function. And that will become apparent why later. Okay, but just trust me, put a repeater there. Okay, then you're going to come around this away. This. Don't really need the repeater there. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and put our uh, torch on the edge of this guy. Like that. And we're trying to get to this one here. So I'll tell you what, we're going to go, and we're going to come out like that. And then we need to come out one more. There, like that. Okay. There we go. And then maybe we'll come out one more with this. Sorry about that, guys. I'm kind of improvising this because it's really not that critical to get it perfect. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come underneath this block, place a block, place another block, and like that. So basically all I'm doing is building the up mechanism, the red mechanism from the floors before. If this looks familiar at all, it's because it's exactly the same as that. Okay. And right there. So I guess I'm not really improvising, am I? <laughs> okay. That's it. Uh, oops. That's not quite it. Don't forget to do this part. So block there. Block there. And repeater, done. Boop. Super easy peasy. All right, let's test that, make sure it's going to go down. So uh, we need a button right here. Um, now, just to remind myself, oh, I'm on the top floor. Just don't put a button there. <laughs> Try that again. All right, that seems to be working. Goes down to the floor below. Very good. We're going to go up. Very good. Okay, cool. Uh, at this point, I would give it a test, make sure that it goes to all the different floors. Basically, if you go to the, if you go to the floor from above and from below, then it should all be working fine. So if you go all the way from the top to the bottom and then back up on your elevator, that's a good test. And you know that everything's working correctly up to this point. If you do um, just the down, then there might be something wrong with one of the ups. Um, it's a little confusing to get it, so just be patient with yourself, like, 
you know, watch the tutorial again if you're having issues. Sometimes you just have to come back down and rebuild the whole stupid elevator car. That happened to me once while I was building that. So, um, yeah. Just because I didn't show that doesn't mean it doesn't happen. It's annoying. Sometimes these flying machines just take off on you and they do weird stuff. Um, or you make a mistake, like put a block in the wrong place. Okay. Uh, speaking of putting blocks in places, so what you can do from here, if you want to build your elevator shaft, is remember the four uh, sides that surround the uh, elevator car have to be immovable blocks or these glazed terracottas, okay? Do not put a glazed terracotta in front of this piston, okay? So you have one spot where it's actually going to go back uh, one block like that. But the cool thing is, is you can't get in there, so it's not like you're going to get stuck in there while the elevator is moving. Um, that's just part of the compactness of this. I actually tried to get that to not be a thing, but it's a thing, so that's where it is. Okay. So then the rest of this, you can actually just place in glazed terracotta every other place except for over the buttons and over these pistons that are facing this way on this wall, okay? And that's it. You could go all the way to the top, or you could leave some sections open, whatever you want to do. Um, I, I would probably go all the way to the top. Uh, yeah, this isn't a cheap build, but it's definitely not a like beginning of the um, beginning of your world kind of build. This is a kind of an intermediate sort of thing. The last thing that we need to do on this is we need to build our call to floor function. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and on every floor you're going to come out two blocks. Uh, right here. So on the second block up, right where you would expect a lever or button to be, an eye level, I guess, you're going to come out two blocks and then you're going to place a redstone lamp. Redstone lamp is optional, but I recommend it because that tells you like um, if that floor is active or not as far as the call to floor function. Now it's very important that when you call the elevator to a floor, that once you get in it, that you make sure that you flick this lever back off first because the call to floor function actually makes it so the elevator will not stop on any floor except for the one where the lever is switched. And of course, if you take the elevator to the next floor, it's not going to stop there. It's just going to keep going until it hits your safety at the top. Or if you didn't build the safety like I told you to, it's just going to go into the skies or it will hit all the way to the ground and stop there. Um, yeah, so make sure that you always turn this off whenever after the elevator has gone to that floor. Okay, uh, the next thing, um, you might want to fill in your wall or whatever. I'm not actually going to do that just so you can see the redstone of it, but of course if you're doing this as a real build in a real world, you would want to make sure that you built the rest of your wall there. Okay, so call a floor function, call the floor function, and then right here, need to kind of finish this off a little bit. Let me just do that real quick. So up the sides here and then on the very top floor you can actually put regular blocks here um, but on every other floor these have to be of course the glazed terracotta or removables alright some doors and then we're gonna throw in the floor yada 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 and then two blocks over block a, a redstone lamp and a lever okay on this one here, same thing, two blocks out, redstone lamp, and a lever. Now, you might be able to go out one block over here, out the very bottom floor, but just go out two blocks because it's going to throw, like, your redstone off and it's going to be confusing for you. So just do it that way. Okay, cool. All right. The next thing that you're going to want to do is on each one of these, you're going to put a block behind it a block underneath that one and break it, and then you're going to put a block up like that. So you're going to have this shape right here, and then you're going to come back a total of six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Okay, do that on every floor that you have the call to floor function. So back one, down one, back up one, whatever, <laughs> one, two. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. At the bottom, same thing. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And the top, same exact thing. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and six, like that. Okay, so now you have these extension arms. All right, the next thing that you're going to want to do is on 
it, it kind of depends like how you have your floor set up, how you best want to do this. So uh, what I would do is on the section that had the most floors that were like these three blocks apart, I would go ahead and place my first block for my tower there. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to place a block there and then one behind it like that. Okay. So two blocks out from, and then one over from this corner for these. And I'm using pink terracotta for my, um, my downward going torch tower. Now it's, it's kind of counterintuitive because the torch tower is actually an upwards torch tower, but it's activating the down circuits, the red circuits on everything. Okay. So that's what the color coding is. Of course, if you do this on your own world, you don't have to color code it like that, but I'm color coding it so you can understand what I'm doing. Okay. So then from there, you're just going to go uh, block, torch, block, torch, block, torch, a painstaking amount of times. It's probably faster to go like this. Just put blocks, 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 blocks like that. And then what you're going to want to do is take it all the way up to the height of your very top floor with the pink anyway. Okay. Then go back down to the bottom. Don't start at the top and do this. Go back down to the bottom and then break every other block. So if you got a torch there, you want to skip one, break it. Okay. If <laughs> skip one, break it, skip one, break it, skip one, break it, skip one, break it. And then you might have to go up one more like that. We'll see. Okay. Then in each one of those spaces, you're going to place a red stone torch going down like this all the stinking way. Okay. And then from here going down, you're going to do the same thing. So down. Something like that. Okay. And then remember, always go back to your starting point to break blocks every other. Because if you start at the bottom, you might not be actually breaking every other. Okay. Think that'll do it. Okay. And then a redstone torch on top of every single one of these. How exciting. Okay, so here's where you're going to have to calibrate this. All right, so if this torch is on, you've got a problem because this torch should be off when this lever is off, which it is right now. Okay, and obviously I haven't put any redstone on there, so it's off. Okay, so what you want is this torch to be off. Well, it's on. Well, what the heck do I do? Really simple fix. All you have to do is go down to the bottom and put one more redstone torch at the bottom. Okay. Now you might not even tie into this redstone torch, but it's making so that the toggling is correct for your floors. Okay, right there. There we go. Very cool. Like that. Da -da 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 -da. And then some of your floors, like this one here, might be off a little bit. So like, see how this redstone torch is in line with this? Well, down here, they're all not in line with that. It's, it's like, so this one is one off. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to deal with that in a little bit. And then depending on the way that you build your floors, you might have a lot of them that are off like this. And so you're going to need to know how to adapt this system so that it'll work for you. Um, yeah, it, I can't do a direct tutorial on that because it depends on how your floors are set up. But I'm going to show you the couple, two different ways to get around it and you'll be fine. Okay, so on the part where you started, so that's why I put only this one pink block right here. So I know, okay, this is where I started. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come... Um, at the end of that line, you're going to want to go up one like that. So you're going to go over one, up one, and then back one like this. So towards your elevator shaft. So here is our initial one, and then here's the block right here. Okay, this is kind of the start of our downwards going torch tower, which activates the up. I know it, it's weird. <laughs> the up circuitry. Okay, so then on top of this block, you're going to place some redstone and you're going to place a torch off of its side right there. Then going downwards, you're going to come down to from this red, oops, uh, you're, hold on. Sorry. There we go. You're going to come down to, and then you're going to place a redstone torch right there. And then you're going to do the same thing again. So you're going to come down to, and you're going to place a redstone torch right there. And then you're going to come down to, Place a redstone torch like this. Those of you that have seen my video on redstone torches, this should look familiar. This is a, a torch tower that goes downwards. Okay. Or if you just know that this is a downward going torch tower, because you know what those are, 
That's great. Okay, then you're just going to continue this pattern all the way to the bottom, and it's probably the most annoying part of the build. <laughs> it's not necessarily hard, it's just annoying. <laughs> it's really annoying. But it has to be done, so got to do it. All right. Da -da -da -da. Uh, there is one way to make it faster. You go down two, over one, and then down two, and then back one, and then down two, over one, and so on. Okay, like that. And I think we might be down far enough, but I'm going to go one more time down. Okay, and then once you do that, you come back to where you started that whole thing, and you break a block, redstone, break two blocks, torch. <laughs> I had trouble sliding over there. Redstone, break two, torch, redstone, break two, torch, and redstone, and torch, yada, 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 all the way down, okay? But now the fun part is you have to continue this all the way to the top. <laughs> so, wee, let's do it. Tell you what, this kind of torch tower may be the most annoying thing to build in the entire game. <laughs> Just a thought. All right. Now, when you're doing this, I highly recommend that you do not connect this thing up until this tower is in place. Okay. <laughs> so don't jump the gun and like move towards connecting it. Just don't do it because then every time you place a torch or a piece of redstone, like the whole tower toggles and it's like, yeah, it stinks. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so the next thing that you want to do is on this level right here, so do you see how we have our green line from one of our rows? We're going to place, and, and this is actually right above our initial uh, starting point for the torch towers, place a block there. If it turns off, you're good. If this thing is on, then what you're going to have to do is come up and you're going to have to place one more iteration up here. So like if that was off, then I'd have to come up here like this and then place another torch like that and then place another piece of redstone and then toggle the whole tower just like we did for the up tower except you do the toggling from the top. So see now it's on. This is a problem. So then um, you have to change the iteration. Okay. Very cool. So next what you're going to do is on each one of these, well, let's uh, let's wire it up first and then we'll connect it last. Okay, so the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna come here with your redstone. And this is for those lines that actually lined up correctly with our very first one that we did, okay? So the very first one that you did, start with that one and then we'll go from there. Okay, so what you wanna do is behind your redstone lamp, you're gonna place a repeater like that facing into this block. Then you're gonna put redstone on top of all of those, like this, okay? Then you're, what you're gonna do is you're gonna place a torch at the end of that, like that, okay? The next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take out some block. I'm using brown in case you didn't notice for the input of our um, call to floor function. And so then you're gonna place a tor uh, redstone repeater like that, okay? So I put a block right here and a redstone repeater. If this torch is on right here, then the, you're in the right spot. If this torch is off, then there's a problem and I'll teach you what to do about that. Okay, what you're gonna have to do is build another short torch tower. So you're gonna come down two blocks, put a piece of redstone on it. It should be like the song for this. Put a piece of redstone on it. I don't know. All right, and then a torch. And then you're gonna come down two more blocks right here, and you're gonna put a piece of redstone on it, okay? At this point, you should be right there with a block where it has um, some redstone that's off at this point. If not, something went wrong, go back and check the rest of the, the tutorial. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place a block next to that, like I just did, and then place a repeater on that block facing from this block to that redstone, like that, okay? 
So that way what happens is if I flip that switch, what's going to happen is it's going to turn this repeater on and it's going to toggle the, this tower from everywhere that's above this block. Okay, so that means that every single down circuit on all of the floors above this, no matter how many floors there are, is going to toggle and turn on, which is what we want because that's going to send the elevator down if it's up there. It's also going to extend every single one of these pistons above that point, which is going to allow the elevator to fall um, through all of those blocks until it gets to this floor where it will stop because nothing is being done to the floor that we turn the switch on. Okay. Then this one here is going to do the exact same thing, but going in the opposite direction. So uh, this torch here is going to turn off. This is going to allow this torch to turn on, which is going to power this, which is going to toggle everything below this. So that means that if the elevator is down there, it's going to toggle the up circuits from every floor that's below this right here. And then that's going to send the elevator up. And because all of those circuits are on, all of our pistons are going to be extended which is why you have to turn this off once the elevator gets to the floor that you want it to be on. Just trust me, I know that's a lot of information to listen to, but you'll see it once you start to mess with this, okay? All right, next. We're gonna do that for every single floor that lines up with uh, this block where you can put a pink block across like that, okay? So this one here, we could put a pink block across. In fact, let's just go ahead and do it. So that way we can we know, oh, okay, this floor is exactly the same as that. So again, it's a redstone torch at the end, like that. Then come down two blocks, place redstone dust, torch off the left side of it, two blocks down, redstone dust. Then you should have an off redstone dust right there, so you're going to place a block there and a repeater facing into that dust like that. Okay, so you should have this. And then right here, I'm going to go ahead and place a block down like that. Break the one on top of it and place a repeater like this. Okay, and then we're going to run redstone dust all the way back here and then place in a repeater from our uh, redstone lamp and our switch. All right, so that's that one. That's that one. All right, let's do, let's do this top one because this one is a little bit I think this is a little bit off, so let me show you how to do this one. Okay, so the top one is weird because we don't have to go into our upwards torch tower because there's nothing above this. So if we do it, it's not going to do anything, so we don't even have to worry about that. What we want to do is toggle this guy. So see how this is off right here? Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're just going to swing around here, and we're just going to place a redstone repeater there, and then redstone all the way. Whoops, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is that what we want to do? Yeah. On the top one, we can do this. Sound like that. Place a block, or place a repeater right there, and we're good to go. Okay, very good. And then right here, we're going to go ahead and place a pink block right there. Okay? And that's going to allow us to then power this redstone. No! That's a problem, isn't it? We don't want to do that. Okay, we'll find another way. Don't worry. Don't worry. Like that. Okay. So, this one here is off. Okay? I mean, what I mean by off is like it's not in line like those ones were right there. So my problem was is if I put a pink block right there and then I put, put this here, What's going to happen is this is going to turn on when this lever is off. And we don't want that because it's going to cause all kinds of problems, especially on the top. No good. Very bad. So what we want to do is find another way to power this redstone. Okay, so we, if we come down here, then we can place um, a block right there. But then if I put some redstone there, then I have the same problem. So what I need to do is find a block that's off and then power this right there. So I think maybe that would work like that. Okay. So if I put a redstone torch right there, then what happens is if I put a block there, then I can put redstone here and that's good. Okay. Now if this redstone is powered, it's actually not going to power this torch because redstone does not t power torches directly. It only powers the torch, the block that the torch is sitting on. So this is going to be fine to do it like this. Okay. Just like that. All right. That's one way to do it. Um, down here at the bottom, let's take a look at this, what's going on here. 
Down here at the bottom, we're going to put in our repeater and our thing like this. Now we really need to toggle on this one here is the down is the pink one because there's no, uh, basically if there's no red circuit, like you can, you just power the pink tower. Okay. No red circuit, power the pink tower. That totally rhymes. Okay. So this block right here is actually on. So the problem is, is if, if I, if I was to power this block, nothing is going to happen. <laughs> okay. Because it's, again, it's off. So if I power this block, nothing's going to happen. Why is nothing going to happen? Because it's already being powered. So it's not going to turn this torch off. It's already off. So it's not going to do anything. All right. So if I go ahead and, and I do this, like on our upper ones that I showed you, that that's not actually going to do anything. Watch. <laughs> okay. See how the tower's not doing anything? It's not changing. Because that block's already powered. So we got to power a different one. So we could either power this one down here or that one right there. And I think that that's the one I'm going to shoot for. So to go to that one, all we have to do is build a little redstone ladder like that, or build a little ladder like that, and that, that should do it. So the redstone is pointing into the block, so that should power the block and shut the block off. And if I do this, the elevator is actually going to come down. No, is it going to come down? Uh, No, it's not. <coughs> not yet. Totally didn't mean to do that. So see how the torch tower toggled? Now it's back on. All right, sweet. So that one's wired up. All right, next what we need to do is, remember how I told you to put these right here like that, the pink blocks? So we can put, I like to put a repeater away from a torch if possible. Um, of course, it wasn't possible up there, so um, it doesn't matter. You can go like this. It's not going to do anything, but I just feel better having a repeater there, but that totally works too. It doesn't matter. And then one there like that. Okay, sweet. All right, so our pink is all wired up. Now we need to wire up the green. This is a little bit trickier. All right, so remember I said right here we wanted to test to see if this was off. So let's see if it's off in fact. Okay. So, yep, it's off. Very good. So what we're going to do is from that off torch, we're going to place a block um, in line with it on this wall. And then all you have to do is place a repeater or some redstone dust. I like the repeater personally, but it really is unnecessary. Okay. Then from this one here, let's see. So this one, oh, this was the one we were talking about, huh? So that already has a torch on it. So there we go and place that. So all I'm doing is I'm connecting up my, my torch tower to these lines in the most reasonable place as long as it's currently off, right? So if you were to attach this and it's, and it turns on, that's a problem. So you need to pick one that's off uh, one of these blocks or points from the from the torch tower. You can either do a torch or you can do a block itself that is currently off. Okay. So notice this block is on, but because the block is on, the torch is off. So that works. Okay. All right. I'm saying okay, okay, okay. All right. This one here, I think it looks like we can do the same thing um, because the bottom one is one. It's a little bit further away, but we're just going to go like this. And repeater, or some red to hone dust, or a little bit of both, and that's connected. Now, why is this on? That's a big question. What the heck is that doing on? I don't like this. I not li I not like this. I not like that this is on. That's a problem. What did I do? Oh, uh, I see what all I did. Okay. We need to have a redesign of the bottom floor. I apologize, but this whole bottom floor needs to be redesigned. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take all that out, place this in. So this is gonna be more like the upper floors. I was trying to cut too many corners. See, that's what happens when I start improvising stuff. I forget that I need things. Okay, so all I did to change that was I my original redstone line came from here. So I, instead of that, I put a torch there, and then now we have this. I knew that was too easy to connect to it. All right, so now we need to go back to our torch tower and find a way to connect from here into this. Well, so here's a point that's off, right? So all we need to do is connect from that over to our torch tower. And I'm leaving all this problem solving stuff here into the video because I want you to see like how I'm going about solving some of these problems because you are going to encounter these problems with this. And the reason you're going to 
run into them is because your floors may be in different places than mine. So I could teach you how to build this exact thing, but then like your t floors would have to be in the exact places. So I'm teaching you how to problem solve with this. The floors themselves, not a big deal, but getting connecting up to this um, torch tower for the call the floor function is, is a little bit tricky. So I'm just leaving all this in here. Okay, there we go. That's what I did. I found a block that's off. I took a repeater and took an output from that into our line uh, for this particular um, thing. So that'll that'll run that and that'll be fine. Okay, very good. I don't know why I'm whispering, I just am. Okay, next, let's check out the top. See, that one's connected. That's connected and this one doesn't need to connect. So it looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. Okay, here comes the moment of truth. And we're gonna go ahead and pull one of these levers. See if it... Elevator comes to the floor and it stops. Shut this off. All right, let's try this one. There he goes. Okay. So if you're gonna have problems, it's gonna, ha it's gonna happen here with this call the floor function. All right, and let's see if it comes all the way to the bottom. Is it coming? I, I see flashing. <laughs> That's a good sign. There he goes. Okay. Very cool. All right, there it is. I need to show you one more is if one of these floors in the middle is off a little bit, I need to show you how to connect that. And then we're finally done. I'm sorry, this is getting a little bit long, but you're gonna appreciate it if you actually build this thing. Okay, so on this one here, um, this was my main section. So I'm actually on my example, the one that we started the video on. So here's my example. Um, I built three floors here and they're all three spaces apart. And that was the place where I started my um, call the floor function towers. Okay. So it's exactly the same as the tutorial I just showed you. But as I move up here, you'll notice that, uh oh, right here, this is off. This, this was way off. So this is how I had to, had to handle it. Okay. I came out from the switch just like normal. But then when I got here, it was like I couldn't connect to uh, the torch tower in like a good spot. So what I did was this. I took from this off torch and then I took and put some redstone across into this block. Now you can kind of see, it's a little hard to see because I use red on red, but um, right here, there's redstone coming up here and it's, it's connected to this redstone right there, okay? You could use a repeater there. Actually, no. You cannot use a repeater there. I tried to use a repeater there. The reason you can't use a repeater there is because if I put a repeater there, what's going to happen is it's going to strong power uh, this block right here that I'm pointing at. If that happens, yes, it will activate this redstone line, but it will also activate the green line below it. And that's not what we want to do because this is actually the floor that we're trying to get the elevator to stop at. And so if I, if I do that, then there's going to be all kinds of problems. Okay, so what you need to do is if you have to connect to a line from a off torch um, and you can't connect directly to the redstone, you're, you you want to use a repeater there, you have to use uh, just redstone dust. You have to, okay? That's what you have to do. All right. Um, the other way that I connected in was as I went down with my torch tower, um, did I have issues there? No, actually everything was fine there, except I had to go down by one block. Okay, so my other ones, it, let me go down to one of these other ones. They go straight across to the redstone torch and we're fine. This one here went straight across and then I went down one block like this and put a redstone torch and then everything else was the same as far as connecting into the torch towers. Um, all right, to connect out of this torch tower, the repeater is actually one below. Now this one also might be an issue, so you might have to put redstone dust there. In fact, I'm just gonna do that because it's gonna be the same thing. Okay, this when this torch turns on, it's gonna activate the redstone dust, but the redstone dust isn't gonna affect the torch going backwards. Okay, all right. Hopefully that makes sense uh, if your floor is off by a block from your other floors. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, that's the end. Ooh, we did it, <laughs> you made it. I don't know if this is as long as the other one. The other one was long. Holy cow. Okay, guys. Well, this has been Hex. I hope you enjoyed this little elevator tutorial. I hope that you uh, 
give this one a try and maybe even learn something from it and maybe even try to build your own. If you can try to compact this thing, I would, I think that'd be really awesome because I still think it's a little bit too big and bulky for what it is. But anyway, it does work and that's all that really matters, I guess, in the end. So this has been Hex. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and maybe even think about subscribing if you want to. But more importantly, I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless. Thank you.